schools, uh, California schools publicly are doing what they can. There's a lot of support from TRIO federal grants, uh, such as Upper Bound, Educational Talent Search, and other programs like AVID that are really trying to support this population of students. They have great potential, and so they just need mentors and assistance uh, with regards to knowing more about college and universities. So several of these low-income first-generation students might not be receiving that support at home, but uh, we have great potential and promise from our teachers and K-12. I think our K-12 system, I think, is a pretty good system. Yes, it has its issues, and like any system does, and it's trying to do the best that it can. When it comes to college, things get a little bit different, particular with low-income first-generation college students have lower graduation rates, have lower success rates yeah, as far so, as... so, I mean, I, I definitely think um, the ways that we can improve would be talking to students earlier about... Mm -hmm. Um, what their education is supposed to mean. I think as a newcomer to California, I know that we're currently working on creating a program to help with the new funding structure that is going to be available in certain areas in California, where we're certainly trying to make a more equitable platform for students that are first generation, students of color, students with disabilities, students whose first language is not English. We are recognizing that we need more diversity in our education and that the school systems are trying to figure out how to get the funding there to get the students where we need yeah. to be. But I think we have a long way to go. I also think that more people need to have the opportunity to talk with these students to find out like why aren't they being successful. Sometimes it is the, the area, the lack of funding, but sometimes it's just the student not being taught that they deserve to be there and that they have something to, to add to the table. And one of the things that we can do is just kind of empower students to talk about what their goals are and how education could be used as a vehicle to get there. So it was basically the mentors I had. So it's like a chain reaction. Where... Uh, I was just always a person who wanted to help and I was lucky enough to always have teachers and mentors, people that I have met who have, you know, been able to see things in me that I wasn't able to see myself, is to be able to see a student, you know, on day zero where things feel impossible and then to meet them at the finish line. To see our students be successful and happy here on campus, to see our students graduating and just thanking you for the work you did because we're all part of their journey here. Or his character. Do they have a caring, compassionate, empathetic character? Being a good mentor means like being able to kind of take a step back and think about, you know, what the person is trying to accomplish and then yeah. what specific ideas or strategies you have that are going to be helpful to that person. I think that UC David, even hiring me, is just another way that they're trying to show that they want a more diverse and inclusive community. And certainly, you know, it will be really difficult to get students here that look or identify with certain people until you bring the professionals here. And so um, I feel like we recognize it, especially with the, the cross-cultural centers and the new initiatives that we have specifically toward uh, Chicano Latino, Native, and the African diaspora space. I feel like we're at least creating the spaces to be able to house those students. There's been a lot of progress made. Uh, we have beautiful centers across the board. We have uh, great faculty. Uh, given we need to diversify more of our faculty and our staff, but I think that we're making great progress in that area. We're in a great place here at UC Davis. The educators um, believe that schools in California are making great progress but still need change. They suggested that mentors could potentially help minority, first generation, and or low income students succeed. It seems that UC Davis specifically is creating safe spaces and hiring professionals that can relate to students. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. This is ABL News.